Before you incorporate research material into your assignment, it's important to think critically about each source. Whether it's a scholarly article, tweet, or story from a magazine, you should determine if that source is true and useful for your research. Even if the article is trustworthy and verifiable, that doesn't mean it's a good source for your specific needs. This video will show you how to successfully evaluate your sources before using them in your assignment. Why does it matter if you evaluate a source? First, it's important to show that you are using trustworthy and true information. You don't want to use false, incorrect, or outdated information. The sources you use should be verifiable. Second, it shows that you read the research you found and are not just padding your paper with quotes you haven't reviewed. It shows that you are only using material necessary to your assignment. Finally, scholarly writing builds off of existing work. When you evaluate your sources and incorporate them into your assignments, you're adding your voice into a conversation. Evaluating sources shows that you have original thoughts and think critically in a way that contributes to existing scholarship. There are numerous ways you can evaluate sources. One method is to ask the five W's, who, what, when, why, and where. Using this method will help you think critically about your sources and help you to evaluate if they are useful and necessary for your assignment. Who wrote this and where do they work? The author or creator's experience and credentials are important to know because that will tell you if they have the authority to talk about their subject or topic. Are they qualified to write this? An ICU doctor is definitely able to talk about the COVID crisis, but so is the patient. Consider all aspects of a person's background, education, employment, and personal life experience. You should also ask about the creator's biases and privileges. It may be important to your assignment to incorporate different viewpoints and experiences. What kind of source is it? The item could be a popular article, scholarly article, opinion, data set, report, or even a tweet. The type of source tells you a lot about it. Something that has gone through a professional review and editing process, like a research article or book, is likely more trustworthy than a blog post or Wikipedia entry that can be edited by anyone. When was the document published? Is the information still up to date and relevant? For historical research, you can and should use older material. For scientific study, or current events, you most likely want recent information. Why was this document written? For example, was it created to inform, to convince, or to entertain? The purpose of a document can help you know if it is research, opinion, entertainment, or reporting. Who was the primary audience for this document? You don't want to use an article written for elementary school students in a college paper. Also, always watch out for material that is designed to persuade or sell. That kind of resource likely has a lot of inherent bias, which may make it inappropriate for your assignment. Who published this document? What type of publication is it? Is this source from a scholarly journal, newspaper, website, blog, or social media? The place where you found the information can tell you a lot about the author and their purpose. Newspapers are meant to inform about current events, but they also include opinions on their op-ed pages. Some websites may seem trustworthy, but you should always consider their bias. For instance, Gatorade will happily share any research that promotes athlete hydration because they make money off of selling hydration products. That doesn't necessarily make the source bad. It just means that you should be transparent and consider biases when using those sources. After you answer the five W's, you'll also want to look at the source's strengths and weaknesses. What did it do well? but also what questions do you still have? If a source has a lot of gaps, you might need to do additional research. You should also consider in what context it might be appropriate to use the source. Even if the source is fantastic, it might not be appropriate for your specific needs. It's not always clear how each of the five W questions should be answered for every source. Sometimes you have to do a little digging to find the answers. You can do this by reading about the author, looking at a website's about page, or even just doing a Google search to see what other people say about the material. Also, one easy way to find good sources is to use the databases provided by the library. You can limit your results to peer-reviewed or scholarly material, which are required in most college assignments. A good rule to follow, however, is to trust your instincts. If something feels off or wrong, don't use that source. There's always other information out there. 
The library has an entire online guide devoting to helping you learn how to evaluate resources. If you still have questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching.